previous year. Welcome back to Country Maintenance. Well, just doing a preventative maintenance check on this one. I got a report, uh, no AC last night, but it actually had started. But I've had some brownouts due to the high temperatures uh, out here and the, the overload of energy usage. It was 121 degrees yesterday. Expected to get there today. Making sure the fan baffle, everything's good there. And uh, just gonna pull the disconnect on this one. Tracing it back to right here. And we're just, I'm just gonna check all the capacitors and the contacts. Okay, of course, the next step is discharging the capacitors. I've showed you guys this uh, many times, and I've showed you replacing the capacitors, which is what this was. The capacitors were weak, so I replaced it for preventative maintenance. But there was a deeper problem, and I got called back later, and so I wanted to show you uh, what the deeper problem was, so I'm gonna skip to that here. I'll speed up the film here and just kind of minimize it and make it a little bit smaller on the existing film and uh, show you the troubleshooting and the figuring out what was actually happening here and this can be a cause of an intermittent uh, unit w working where the compressor cuts out or or it, it just intermittently is cooling and then it's not cooling and it's cooling again let's jump right in okay unit I replaced the capacitor on, the capacitor on earlier this morning and it's not working is definitely not running. Let's take a look. I'll discharge the capacitor. The capacitor holds the charge in it even after the power is disconnected. All our wiring up here looks okay. Our points actually look okay even though it's original contactor. So anyway we've discharged our capacitor. Take a look at our compressor leads. Uh, everything looks okay there. The compressor seems overheated though. here. Gonna test continuity test from the bottom of the contactor to the top of the contactor. Make sure we're getting a bridge lead. We are there. And we are there. Okay. Now the next thing um, gonna test the wiring from each wire the black hot to the black to the compressor and then the red and then the start yellow start so everything's discharged so now putting the one lead 
up there and then one lead on the compressor black lead. Okay, we got continuity there. Now on the red one, and it's switching to the red lead on the top of the contactor. not getting continuity there. On the red lead. Okay, so now from the red lead to the red lead on the contactor, I'm not getting anything. I'm getting nothing there. getting continuity. It's just the red one that I'm not getting any continuity on. Oh, there it is. It seems like that's our problem. Get off and we'll see if, uh, if I can get it better. to the wire but not through the the uh the lead so this lead is bad um i think what i'm going to do is going to switch the lead around looks like this lead just lost its uh conductivity so i'm going to trim the end of this one and then I'm going to switch it with this end and flip it around and run it. And we'll go from there. Oh yeah, yeah, saw it. Okay, tried changing batteries on my GoPro. That one couldn't take the heat. So we're going to trim past this wire here. And I'm going to trim off the... Okay, buddy. It's gonna be a little 
surgery here. Gonna be all right. wrapped it in a way that it's going to be drawn around the wire to the, to the heel. Tighten into it. There we go. And there we go. Now we'll run the lead. It's our deal. So Yesterday I got called out for this unit and I started to go my way and called in and then the unit started working. So it all makes sense now. I changed the capacitors earlier and everything worked and I didn't didn't catch this. So but it goes right here. And we're on. Okay. And I've got ice on the compressor cooling that down. The other connections are okay. I think our compressor is going to start right up now. All right, we're ready to plug it in and get it going. Ooh, got that sitting in some in the water. It's not good. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here it goes. Yeah. What it was. All right. Good deal. Continuity. It's a little continuity test. Now you have to de-energize the system before you do a continuity test. So you never do an ohm test live with uh, live power. You're always disconnecting and then discharging the capacitor. But that's what this one was. Just uh, had a bad connection on this lead. Now it's in the water, but uh, anyway, done deal. Let's see if I can show you the lead. It might show continuity now that the. Now that it got wet. But here we go. I'm right into the wire, right? And then here's the other side, nothing. But if I get closer, it's kind of hit and miss, see? Sometimes it's connecting, sometimes not. And that's why I was getting the intermittent start of the air conditioner, strange one. That's what it was. Thanks for watching, Kung Fu Maintenance. We're back in the mix. Back with a fix. It was 121 yesterday and was uh, supposed to be 121 today. I don't know if it quite reached there. I'm checking my phone here. Let's see what we got today. It's 117 right now and <laughs> it's 5.55 p.m. All set there. Thanks for watching. Come through maintenance. Putting the air conditioner back in the mix. All right. Yeah, it kind of freaked me out because I had replaced the capacitors earlier. I was like, how come, you know. All right, continuity. Good to go. The journey continues. Continuity. Here.